And he said, you know, we have these upcoming games. This is in front of like 40 people. And he said, Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. It's kind of early. I'm heading off to go get some milk because we're out of milk. Gosh dang it, I've woken up and my legs, man, are so sore, just aching. We got training again tonight, another trial. I've messaged the person I've been speaking with at the club just to check if training is on tonight at the same place. No response yet, but man, whew, I'm feeling it. Here's the big boy I want, three liters. So in the mornings, I'm back to having my wheat bix Usually I have this and then have something afterwards, whether if I'm feeling super full for whatever reason, I'll have just a banana. If I'm feeling a bit hungrier, then I'll go something like two pieces of toast with cottage cheese or some jam or something like that, maybe some peanut butter. Kind of depends what I'm feeling, but man, I just feel like milk. Yeah, this is personal preference. Everybody's body is different. I just feel like this is what, you know, makes me and my body feel good in the morning. Some people believe that veganism or being a vegetarian helps them feel good in the morning, so be it. So yeah, breakfast. Right, bit more food now. I'm going to have two eggs on some wholemeal toast that I went and bought while I was at the shops. Never get the white bread, it's processed, it's not as good for you. So I have that, then I gotta go and head off to do something. I've been working so damn hard. I'm bringing these grip socks to you guys. Steps, it's gonna take over. Right, so I'm gonna quickly jump in to give you guys a bit of a quick sneak peak of the grip sock design and all of that good stuff if you aren't following steps on instagram make sure you head over to the page give it a follow so that you can see the upcoming news and when everything is expected to be released so as you can see we're going with two colorways to begin with we got a white and a black the view from the back i think that's absolutely sick we got the logo two steps forward for one step back that's what you got to do sometimes in life and that's the whole message behind this brand as you guys know i've done that a few times in my life and it's really awesome to be able to put it into this brand which we can all follow and use so absolutely sick then we go into the side view we got a couple arrows there so on the front of the foot it's representing we're always moving forward no matter what we do so deep down we always know we're going forward but sometimes you got to take a step back and we got the circular grip we'll be going with those on the bottom i think that gives the best surface area to maintain the traction on the bottom of the foot and then the top view we have the arrows again like i said before always moving forward and then to finish we got the bottom view so we got the arrows and then we've also got the circular dots now the arrows will not be rubber because it just doesn't make sense they will just be put in at the bottom of the sock so as we know always moving forward always taking those steps forward even though some people may think we're moving back we always know deep down we're going forward on top of that, working on a free first touch program. So that will be coming very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. I want to help you guys improve as much as possible. Make sure you're getting out and doing something to improve yourself every single day, whether it's on the field, off the field. That means physically, mentally, you're always getting better. So, bit of food. What a beautiful creation. But I really should be a chef. Like I said in yesterday's video, I'm trying to give you guys more and more insight into these trials that I'm doing. It is a little bit difficult because I don't want to give too much away, but I also don't want to keep you guys distant from the whole situation. So it's not easy, but again, I want to give you guys the best content possible. I want to bring you along this journey as well. So the team that I'm trialing with tonight, and this will be my third trial with them, they are a top, top side. And when you're a top, top side in this league, you go out and sign a lot of players. So right now, I believe I am the only trialist with this club. I've been kept on. I've been doing well. And, you know, it's not going to be an easy gig. None of these trials are easy gigs. You can't just walk into a team. So, look, we go again tonight. I don't think they play until next weekend. And then a decision may or may not have to be made where I have to choose who I play for on that weekend in the trial. So maybe that time will come. Maybe not. But, yeah, I'm still there. I'm still training. I'm working hard and trying to not only learn and improve but i guess the end goal here for this this sort of trial is to show to the coach that i can bring some value to the team so you know that just means going out and playing the football i love and the playing the football i want to play it should be an interesting night 
I might speak with the coach afterwards and kind of see where he's about. But like I said, I feel like I've been going well with this team. I've had two sessions there and yeah, I'm happy with both. Man, oh man, traffic is an absolute killer today. I'm still gonna get there early. I always plan for this sort of thing if it ever arises, just so that I'm fine, I'm not gonna be late. That is the last thing you want for a trial. If you're late for a trial, oh, yeah, I wouldn't even turn up, man. <laughs> So today I brought along my GPS tracker. I know that this is the third time I've said that. The other two times I haven't worn it. This time I will wear it. I promise, I 100% promise. Again, watch till the end of the video. I'll hook you guys up. A little special hook up for you guys. So I'm not nearly there. I've still got like another half an hour to go. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. Man, been in the car for like over an hour. It is pretty much just standstill traffic. I'm having so much fun, yay! Back home and I did in fact wear my GPS tracker. I'm so goddamn happy. Brief little overview of the trial. It was quite light. I'm going to guess that I only ran like three to four kilometers. They had a super intense session on Wednesday, which I didn't go to because it was in the gym. It just didn't really make sense for me to go. But then apart from that, we did some possession. I thought I did pretty damn well. I was quite happy with my performance and these sessions, are uh, there's a lot of one touch and two touch that they like to do which is great because it diversifies my football. You know, under pressure, two touch, one touch is great. And then the ability to dribble the ball is also another great skill to have. So I think, you know, the more I do these sessions, the better I'm gonna get. Now, before the session started, the coach was talking about the upcoming games. He said in front of everyone, there's me and this other trialist. The other trialist is a younger player. So he's trialing for the younger age group. I'm the only one trialing for the men's team. He said, you know, we have these upcoming games. This is in front of like 40 people. And he said, you know, we have Sheldon and this other player and it's an opportunity for you guys to, you know, go out there and hopefully be a part of this team. So really positive signs there. Um, you know, <laughs> then it just comes down to me then. Can I perform? Can I show to the coach that I'm valuable enough and a crucial player that he needs in his team? That's going to come down to game day. So they played next week on Sunday. So yeah, we'll see what happens, but that's all the news that I really have for you. All right, GPS tracker. As you guys can see there, it's so interesting to look at these sort of patterns in training. You can see in the bottom right corner there, that was a little passing combination you did. You can see down the bottom, that's where we did our warm up, and then the games throughout the middle. <laughs> It's gonna be so interesting to see this during a game. I think I'll be able to see where my heat map is, where I spend most of the time on the field. Uh, I'm interested to see that, really interested. Oh my goodness. I went six kilometers, 5.94 kilometers. What? I didn't even think that was that much. I, I must have been working hard, man. Cause what we're doing was, there wasn't a whole lot of running that you could do. I guess I just pushed myself. Top speed, 23.7. Again, not the best, but it's training. It's small-sided games where I'm not going to hit a 33.8 in that. No chance. Power runs, 12. And then my sprint distance was 96. So I guess there was a lot of sort of jogging and movement on the pitch, I would say. That's where I got most of my distance from. This app is going to help me so much when it comes to games. And even now, six kilometers, that is a lot. I was thinking I was gonna go a little bit harder in the gym tomorrow, because I do want to get a gym session in. I am excited for that. But because I have this information, I might put the legs down a little bit because I am feeling it, but that it's just really good information to back it up. So send me a message on Instagram, at Sheldon Tweedy, there's my page. You can see a few trick shots on there as well. But send me a message there, a DM, and I'll have a special hookup for the player tracker. So make sure you send me a DM on Instagram. But yeah, man, that's quite good. I, it, it goes to show that I'm really putting in the work and I'm fit. Six kilometers is a fair bit. And if I didn't think it was too much, then hey. I'm, I'm benefiting. I'm stoked about it. It's good. All right, time to head off to bed. I'm tired, man. Tough day in the office, but we keep going. <laughs> we don't stop. I want to get into the gym tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'm going to look to do a session with Pat and maybe Finn. We'll have to see. I'm not quite sure what Finn's doing and I don't even know what Pat's doing. And if neither of them want to do it, I'll just go out and do an individual session because this weekend is a time for me to get out and do that sort of thing. So I'm super stoked to be able to bring you guys some training footage, gym footage tomorrow, 
and then the training footage on Sunday. So that's gonna be good. Hope you guys are hyped for it. It's been a minute since I've brought you some of that stuff. So 10 to 8, I'll sign out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and enjoy the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Listen.